Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. You know, I love making things out of duct tape and I love being organized and so I thought it might be fun to make a duct tape car caddy for you to keep all your stuff when you're traveling on the road. And here you can see I've got a cute little car caddy and it's got some coloring books in it and then some paper and some puzzles and crayons and pencils everything that you could possibly need. Now the great thing about this is you can personalize it for you and you can put on as many pockets as you want. Maybe you want to put it in your cell phone or maybe your device or whatever you have. You can make this for you. So I'm going to show you how to make this right now. Now what we're going to need of course is some duct tape. I'm going to need a pipe cleaner, ruler, an exacto knife, scissors, two buttons, and a marker can come in handy. You might not necessarily need it, but sometimes it's good to have one. And I've made myself my fabric ahead of time here just to save in a little bit of time. But just so you know, you can make this whatever size you want. I've decided to make mine relatively short so that my stuff sticks out the top here. And so what I did when I measured was I measured from headrest to headrest side here from the little pole to the little pole. And I got that and then I added about three inches, about two inches, excuse me, two inches on each side of that pole. And that was to make my bag size. So that's how wide I'm going to make my fabric and then as far as how tall I'm going to make it. And right here you can measure and it is about seven, about eight inches. And this is about 10 inches. So I've made myself a piece of fabric that is actually 11 by 16. I've given myself a little bit of extra just to have a little bit of play. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this piece of fabric up onto itself and I'm going to seal the edges. Now what I do when I seal the edges is I just do the half on half off technique. So measure your tape. and cut it. You place it half on, half off. I'll show you what I mean. Just like that. So see how it's half on the top part and half off. Flip it over and seal it. You're basically making a pouch. And there you go. You're just sealing it that way. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Half on and half off. Now, if you have any extra, just cut that off the edge there. Boop. Now here's my pouch. Now I can add whatever pockets I want to this. In fact, I'm going to add a pocket for some crayons and a pocket for some pencils. Now again, this is up to you what you decide, but pull out whatever it is that you want to make a pocket for and what you want to do is use it as a measurement, but give yourself at least a half an inch to three quarters of an inch extra on either side. And this is where I'm going to mark with my marker. And I'm just going to cut myself a pocket. And this is just another piece of fabric that I've made ahead of time. And you know, it's always kind of fun to do an alternating color, a different kind of color, add some pattern tape here. Now to attach my pocket, what I want to do is cut a piece of tape that is one inch wide. So I'm going to cut this right down the center. And I'm going to actually trim my sides here so they're nice and neat. And all I'm going to do is do the same half on half off that I did to seal the sides to add my pocket. So I lined up my pocket wherever I wanted it, put it half on half off on the bottom. And now let's see if I made my piece long enough. If I did, yeah, that's perfect. Trim this, trim that.
And I'm going to go right to the edge there. Whoop. One nice thing about duct tape is if you accidentally put it too low or not high enough or whatever, you can always pick it up and reposition because really it won't seal until you give it the good rub down here. There we go. So I'm going to rub that down. It's always great to just use the either a ruler or just use the pocket itself as your measurement. You get a good sense there. And once again, I'm going to do an inch. Oops, I think I got cut off there. There we go. And pick it up. Lay it down on that edge there, half on, half off. Now this is a little bit higher up and that's okay. I'll just come back with my scissors and give that a little trim. Doo -doo -doo. So that it's even. And now what I want to do is I want to, I don't want to seal up the top, but what I do want to do is come back and seal it this way right across, but I'm going right to the edge there. Right to the very edge. I'm not going over and sealing it here. I'm going right to the very edge. And it's going to seal it onto this side and seal it onto this side, but still leave this open. It just gives it a little bit of extra to hold that, where all that action's going to happen. Because, you know, when you put this in, that's going to take a little bit of stress there. So it's nice to have those edges get an extra added oomph. Now I could add another pocket there, and I could add tiny ones, big ones, whatever it is that I want. But now what I want to teach you is how to put the straps on, because the straps are kind of very, very important because they are what's going to keep it attached to your car. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take about 12 inches to 14 inches of tape. I'm going to place it sticky side up. I'm going to make a strap. And to do this, all I'm going to do is fold this over onto itself, leaving an eighth of an inch of sticky. See that? And then I'm going to fold that eighth of an inch of sticky over top to seal it so that I've made myself a little strap. Okay. Now, this strap is going to go right here. Now, here's something I'm realizing as I've, I'm doing this. What I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to use my scissors. I'm going to snip this open because I want to make this as secure as possible. So I'm going to snip my sides open and fold them down. Like this. So that I can get a really good solid seal here. So what I'm going to do first and foremost is add another layer of tape right here. And the reason I'm going to do this is because this is going to take a lot of stress. I'm going to slit a tiny little slit on this side about a pinky's width down. And then what I'm going to do is slide my strap through. Right like that. And then I'm going to fold it up. And I'm going to take my tape and I am going to seal this. Really good and really solid. There we go. Now, this is going to go around this little pole here, and it's going to connect to a button. So to do this, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add a button. And this is, again, why I wanted to add some extra. I just want to make sure that it doesn't rip through. So I'm going to add yet another piece over here, like that. And I'm going to add another little piece right here where my button is going to go. Now, to add my button, I just take my button and I'm going to take a pipe cleaner 
I only need about three inches. Slide the pipe cleaner through one hole and then slide it through the second hole, just like that. And then I'm going to give this a twist. And it only needs two twists like that. And then what I'm going to do is take my X-Acto knife and I'm going to measure down about a thumb width here. So right there, and I'm just going to make a tiny hole. It's not a very big hole, but it's a tiny hole. And I'm going to slide this through. There we go. Flip it over. And then I'm going to open this up on the back. Now, do you see how I've opened that up on the back? Now, opening up that on the back, I'm going to secure this. And don't get, oops, I closed. Oop. Don't get worried about the fact that this is getting thick. That's okay because this is really, really important for holding this in and making sure that it can take any pressure. Now, to make my buttonhole, all I have to do is figure out how long I need my strap. And remember, I've made this like 12, 13 inches. You may want it tight, you may want it down low, it depends on you know how high up or how low up you want the, um, the pouch to be. But I'm gonna actually give myself, oh, about right here. So about right there. Cut that off. And what I'm gonna do is measure up I'll use my ruler here. Measure up about an inch. And then I'm going to make a slit. And the slit is going to be about three quarters of an inch, just like that. And then test it to see if that'll go around your button. It might need to be made bigger because this is a pretty big button. So let me just see. Yep, I need to make this a little bit bigger. And again, test it. Just make sure that it goes around. Okay, there we go. So that ended up being about, uh, about an inch and a half for my cut, but that's okay. Now here's the thing. I want to secure all around my buttonhole. So what I'm going to do is take my tape. You know what, I'm going to use a different color tape so you can see. Okay, I'm going to secure the bottom with a strip of tape. I'm going to secure the top with a strip of tape. And I'm going to secure the sides with a strip of tape. Now remember, normally you'd be using the same type of tape, so this wouldn't, this wouldn't show. What I'm going to do is take this and put a strip on either side here. So as you can see, I stripped that down the middle there, cut that into basically a one inch width, and I put it on one side of the hole and wrapped it around so that it's on the other side of the hole. And then I'm going to go on the one side of the hole here. And wrap it around to the other side of the hole. This is going to make this super extra strong so that it's not going to pull out from my button. So then when I put it on here, it's going to be nice and strong. Okay, again, I would be using the same colored tape so that it wouldn't show. Now, I just want to make sure that my button is strong here and my button is strong here. So I'm going to take that tape again. And this time I'm going to cut it into, I'm going to be ripping it, but you can cut this into half inch strips just to make sure you can get up and in. See how I'm getting up and in there? And up and in there. And up and in here. It's really important that you add that extra tape all around. Any place that you think that it could pull out, you add that extra tape. Now, you're basically ready to seal her up. Now, you would do a second one, of course, but I'm going to jump ahead here just so I can show you how you seal her up. Put that there. Ah, button goes on. There we go. So you're going to seal her up with a really fun piece of embellishment tape. And in this case, 
I would use my regular tape on those edges, half on, half off again, just to seal the sides back up. And I know that seemed awkward to do that, but you know, it's so much easier to work with your pouch open than to try to work with your pouch closed like that. So I know that seemed awkward to open it up again, but in working this, I think that that's, you're gonna find that that's the easiest way as opposed to trying to open the pouch and do all of that extra little bit of taping that I did. Okay, now let's just imagine we have a second strap over here. We're gonna embellish the top with some of this fun leopard print. No, this isn't leopard. This is tiger. I always get leopards and tigers confused. I don't know why. But so I've got this nicely cut strip and I'm just gonna lay this right along the top. Wrap it around the back. And that'll also help to give us a little bit of extra up at the top. And that's all there is to doing a really cool car caddy. Now, here's something else that you should know though. Not only can you use it as a car caddy, you can add it as an extra pocket in these reusable bags that they're making us use in California. And I'll show you what I mean here. Let me just take this off so it doesn't fall. I'll take out our book. So see, you take this off, pop your little strap off your button, and you can put this into your bag by wrapping it around the strap here and the strap on the other side. So not only is it a car caddy, but it can also become an inside pocket for your shopping bags, your reusable shopping bags. So isn't that fun? You can have two projects out of one. There you go. See, and now you can take that shopping and you can keep your wallet and your cell phone and all that stuff and it's much more easily accessible than being down at the bottom of your bag. For more great ideas made out of duct tape and more, come and check us out at sophie-world.com.